Tonight in our 7 Up Front segment, a huge milestone for the community. Oakland Family Services is celebrating 100 years of helping local families. So we're joined by President and CEO Jamie Clayton. First of all, congratulations, Jamie. I mean, the agency starting in 1921. Wow, it's come a long way. Uh, tell us about how it's grown over the years. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, if you think about it, 100 years, we we're basically coming out of a pandemic back then as well. We've really never strayed very far from our mission. We've worked to help children and families strengthen bonds and help them through crises all across this last 100 years, even through this last pandemic. So tell us about the work being done right now and, and the work that you had to do during the pandemic early on and yeah, now. So yeah, we're really proud to say that even when our doors were closed, we were always open. So our buildings are back open. Um, we're doing a mix, a hybrid like most agencies. So our services are building brighter futures for families through prevention, education, and treatment. We have early childhood services where we help ensure kids are developing on track and on time. We provide family home-based visiting programs to strengthen family bonds and help support parents in their parenting skills. We do foster care, we do adoption. We have two Great Start Readiness preschools. So those are fully funded preschool programs for kids who are at risk of entering kindergarten not ready to learn. Those are four-year-olds. We also have childcare at those children learning centers. We also have a whole treatment arm of our work where we do mental health and substance abuse counseling for a variety of reasons from depression to anxiety through substance misuse for children all the way through older adults. And we also have a program where we deal with children six to 21 with severe emotional disturbances. We've seen a variety of needs through the pandemic and we've provided some services virtually. We're doing some services on site. Both of our preschools are open. We, we do have spots in, in our Wald Lakes um, Center still enrolling four-year-olds uh, for families who are looking for preschool. Some families still want telehealth and our, our individuals, so we're still doing a lot of counseling um, via telehealth, and I think that's here to stay. People are pretty comfortable with that. But we have uh, really remained consistent throughout the pandemic in serving the community and providing that same safety net that we have been doing for 100 years. Which is so appreciated. Are you setting your sights on the next century? Always, always looking ahead, right? Especially as a nonprofit, if we're not looking forward, you know, we're, we're kind of standing still. So I think some of what we've seen over the pandemic will really um, help inform where we're going in the future. Virtual services, telehealth, integrating physical health with behavioral health services, and really that focus on upstream early childhood and child care. Um, the focus that the state and the federal government is starting to put on helping child care providers um, have a stable environment where we can actually afford to provide good quality child care mm -hmm. and families can afford to seek that from us is critical and is something we continue to look towards in the future. All right. And we will let people know on our website how they can contact you if they want to support. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you so much for having us to celebrate our 100th. Yes, congratulations. Thank you.